No new cases of foot and mouth disease have been reported since Monday this week. But having experienced the horrors of the bird flu outbreak, farmers are, and consumers rather, are still quite worried. Shin Se-min takes us to the first hit area. A mass burial of cows affected by the foot and mouth disease takes place beside a local cattle farm. Many of the farms in the neighborhood have already emptied out. It's been little over a week since the first foot and mouth disease was confirmed here in Poem County, Chungcheongbuk-do province. But already a number of farms like this one right here have cleared their livestock in a bid to stop the spread of the virus. In just 10 days since the first outbreak, over 1,400 cattle have been culled at nine different farms. Of that, 70 percent, or 986 cattle, are from Poengun County, which has high concentration of livestock farms. What began with the type O strain of the disease at a dairy farm was then followed by the type A strain at a different location, forcing the country to push up the disease alert status to the highest. The amount of compensation for culled cattle is expected to reach over 7.4 million U.S. dollars. And this nightmare for farmers is directly hitting related businesses. With the circulation of meat at a virtual standstill, our inventory has nosedived and the prices have gone up, deterring more customers. It doesn't help consumers who are shopping for groceries, not to mention vendors who have no choice but to sell at higher prices. Korea Institute for Animal Product Quality Evaluation says that the price for homegrown beef is steadily rising. A kilogram of top sirloin meat had a price tag of 76,236 Korean won, or $66.79 at the beginning of the month. As of Monday, just about a week after the outbreak, that had inched up to $69.10. The rise in prices added to already weak spending is only expected to further hurt domestic consumption. Regardless of whether it's the largest outbreak in livestock or not, consumer sentiment will be hurt, especially when the outbreak has to do with everyday groceries like meat, chicken and eggs. And that sort of perception stays with people for a good amount of time. Just how long the effects will persist is yet unknown. But hopes are conditions will quickly pick up to help households, vendors and farmers, especially as the country is just beginning to recover from one of the worst bird flu outbreaks. Since I'm in, Arirang News.